Hi, I'm Tia Berger. I'm the Drug Prevention and Behavior Specialist here at PYA. What we do is we are a collaboration of three major agencies under one umbrella. What I mean by that is Big Brothers Big Sisters, Boys and Girls Club, and Phoenix House have all partnered together to create what we call PYA, Promising Youth Alliance. My name is Jessica Yanez Perez, and I am the Project and Communications Coordinator of PYA. In September of 2011, PYA signed the interagency agreement between all three partners, between Boys and Girls Club, Phoenix House, and Big Brothers Big Sisters, and actually opened our doors for the kids uh, December 5th of 2011. You will have a lot of programs that come in and try to do something positive, but unfortunately it doesn't work out. But then you have an entity like PYA comes in and you can tell that they're trying to improve the community and raise positive role models. My child has been involved in another after school program, which is what the school has. Not quite as good as the PYA, that's why she's here. I decided to sign her up for PYA because I met some of the staff and I like that it keeps the kids safe. I like the fact that she can come and have fun but at the same time complete her assignments. I get to have fun with all my friends and when I get home I don't have to do my homework because I already, I already did it here and I have enough time to do it. What I like most about PYA is that I can play pool and we do activity things and then we have fun and the teachers is so nice to let us do them things. He's leading strongly, which is really good. And I can hear him talking to the other kids, telling them, no, you shouldn't do that. You should do this. He's a very positive kid. He's always been, but it's coming out more of him. The reason that I was signing my child up for the PYA program is that she brought it to my attention that this is something that she wanted to do. She said all her friends are over here at the program and I just think it's pretty good. You used to see more of the little kids getting into trouble and getting into fights. And since PYA, they have more to do. They have more activities, you know, they have more people mentoring them and helping them with their attitudes and just changing a lot of negative that I've seen in them. It's becoming, I'm seeing a lot of more positive in, in the kids. Just because we are in the Roseland community or just because we're in the Williams Prep community, that doesn't mean that these kids stay in the community. What happens here impacts all of Dallas, all of Dallas County, because eventually these kids will move out of the community, these families will move into somewhere else, and they're gonna grow up, and we really want them to carry on the principles that we try to instill here at PYA into whatever community that they go into. PYA is in a revolving door where you can come in get what you need, stay a while, and go back out in the community. The hours are great. Most programs are like, they end at 5, 5.30. The fact that the program is a little bit more extended than other programs, it allows me time to get home, because it's a lot more to having a family than working. You know, it allows me to come home and get prepared for them. PYA measures our success by having the parents fill out a student behavioral analysis. It is then compiled and sent over to the University of Texas at Dallas and tell us in general terms what our kids need progress on, whether it's behavioral or whether it's educational, and that's all based on the parent's assessment. She'll come home and she'll be like, Dad, I learned this or I learned that, and you know, I'm like, wow, maybe I should go over to PYA. When I'm having group sessions, Sometimes they teach me. Sometimes they say some things that, wow, that helps me, you know? So it's, it's when you pour yourself out, you get a refill. That's the wonderful thing of it. Without funding, unfortunately, we can't expand our services beyond what we currently have. And unfortunately, that impacts a lot of kids. We want people to eventually say, that's a PYA kid. We know where they came from because they're just a little bit different than all the other kids. They just set the expectation a little bit higher and that's really what we want for our kids. I'm trying to become a basketball player and if that don't work out, I can own my own business. And if that don't work out, I can be a teacher. My options is wide open.